I see that someone here is already prepared. Sure. I thought about everything, Susan. <sighs> Sammy, I'd be grateful if you could turn off this weird voice. Huh. Okay. Is this better now? Much better. Thanks. Snap. We won't need these for now. And with this, we can already start working. Hey, Sammy, look what we've got here. Jill, are we making a car? Why do we need wheels? <laughs> and what are your thoughts? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Tell me. To me, it looks like a future car. Actually, I liked your mechanical walk so much that I decided to make a moving robot. Ah, so this is its leg? It's almost my size. We'll need these cardboard parts to make the legs for our robot. The parts are cut from one side so they can be bent easily. Two legs upgrade me! I'll move even faster with wheels! Do you want to be completely elusive, Sammy? I think you're already very speedy. Isn't that enough? And this motor goes right here. Let's add some glue here. Guys, be careful, it's hot. We'll attach the flexible part to this side. There you go. Whoa, check out these legs. I could definitely fit inside. Are you going to control the robot from inside? <laughs> mm, let's not make any experiments. Look, one leg is almost ready. Just a little bit more. Aha, uh -huh. I see a wheel popping out down there. Guys, don't forget about this important part. And now we'll need a wooden skewer and plastic caps. Oh, someone already worked on them. The Sammy? Uh, what? I thought you left them so I could make wheels for me. <laughs> Sammy, we really need the caps for the wheels, but not yours. Our robot needs an additional pair of moving elements. Yeah! Wait a sec. Let's make the hole carefully. We'll insert the skewer inside like this. There you go. We'll throw some spears in some other place. Well, okay. I'll drink my blackberry cocktail then. <gasps> oh, I need this. And... Hop. Look what we've got. We'll add them to our skewer like this. Right. Let's see. Next, go to the caps, which we'll fix with another straw piece. This is what I need. Don't rush here. Move slowly so you don't damage the cardboard. We'll remove the excess. Be careful and ask an adult to help. There you go. And don't spare the glue. Secure it well. And finally, we'll upgrade the legs using these parts. I also did a great job, Sue. Did it come out similar enough? <gasps> it's the exact copy, Sam. You're a true robotics expert. Huh? And now comes a very important part. We'll cut a door in the body. Guys, be careful with the sharp tools. Mm -hmm. And done! Now I'll wrap this part around this cardboard circle. Sammy! Sammy, what does it look like? Huh, looks like a cylindrical box. Bingo! This will serve as the body of our robot. We need to make the door sturdier with the help of glue. We'll cover the whole surface. Hop, 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 hop. Ta da! And stop. <laughs> Sammy, check out this trick! Ooh! Done! Not bad, not bad! Now watch me! Rats, hats, door smacks! <laughs> Sammy, we're magicians! And now let's test it. Oh! Hi! Yeah, but you still have lots to learn from me. Oh, this snob slime, Sam. Guys, we'll come back to this part a little later. So I tackled this puzzle! Assemble this boxy as that! Whoa! It looks really awesome. You came up with special magic, Sammy. But let's proceed with the gluing. Here comes the first finger. By the way, do these robot hands remind you of something? Huh? Uh, no, not really. <sighs> Think a bit harder. I'll give you a hint. You like them very much. I like a lot of things. That's a bad hint. Maybe this will be a good hint? Huh. I got it! Its hands are just like a real robot! Now on to the second hand. A bit of glue and done! Now we'll connect the hand to the arm. 
You can become a robot technician even at home. <laughs> we'll help you with that. Yeah, give a thumbs up if you dream about building a robot. I already gave one. Guys, now we'll tell you how to cook the robot at home. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, first we'll prepare the left leg. And now the right leg. Like this. Next, we'll attach the arms. Da -da 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 -da. Oh la la! We just need to add some French seasoning! <laughs> <laughs> Chef, I think we forgot something. Yes, let's pause our cooking show, but we'll come back in the next videos! While Sam wasn't around, I made two surprises for him. I'll show you now. First, our robot will have a remote control. And the second surprise… What surprise? Um… Who said a word starting with S? No, 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 no. I said that we need to assemble the head. It will be easier to make it, right, Sammy? <laughs> I can do it with my eyes closed. Well, well. This goes here and now I'm here. Uh-huh. Right! So I'm done! Oh, oh so looking good! Wow, Sam, it came out awesome! Guys, while Sam isn't listening, I'll tell you about the second secret. Our robot will have adorable glowing eyes. Can you imagine that? Be careful with the soldering tool. Ask an adult to help. Now let's wrap the cardboard around the plexiglass. Don't rush. Move carefully here. And here's our adorable eye. Let's add some glue. We need to do it like this. Make sure it doesn't go over the edges, otherwise the robot's eyes will look a little messy. And… Pop! It's a perfect fit! Um, but our robot can't be one-eyed. <laughs> ha! I'm sure that she was hiding something from me. Interesting. Ha! Uh, and, uh, what's this thing? Very suspicious. Wasn't me! Sammy, you scared me! Oh, sorry, Sue, I wanted to have a sneak peek of what you're doing here. And why would you be peeking? I think that you're hiding something from me. Why does our robot have a tail? <laughs> Sammy, it's not a tail. I wanted to make a remote control and lights. That was the surprise. Wow, that's so cool. I'm ready to help you. Sue, I was making rollerblades for myself and I'm ready to sacrifice this cardboard piece. Sue, so, our robot will have some unusual anatomy, right? <laughs> right, Sammy. Our robot will be the most unusual and beautiful one. Here we'll attach this round part. Now we'll glue the upper lid. This hole is for the wires. There you go. The head's ready! Our city needs new heroes! Sue, so, do we look cool? So guys, now we'll get to the most interesting part. Thanks to the styrofoam and the spring, we'll be able to control our robot. There you go. We also need parts made from bobby pins. We'll attach them right here. Don't forget to secure them really well. Oh shoot, do I look like an alien? <laughs> that imagination of yours. Now we'll add more metal and electricity. Here goes our styrofoam spring construction! And… Pop! I made the second button! Whoa, Sammy! You even made the handle! Here's one for you, too! Oh, thanks! Now they'll be identical. Let's glue the second button like this. Soon we can play! It works so nicely! I love it! Let's add some flexible cardboard. This way our controller will look more realistic. Just a little more to go. And done! <laughs> Shoo! It's time to connect our robot to the controller! Now we'll solder the wires to the controller. Be very careful here, guys. Do not do this alone. Ask an adult to help. It can be real dangerous. Mm -hmm. And we're almost there. I always enjoy this part of the craft. Here is our last wire. Sue, 
I guess these wires will also come in handy. Sure. And we'll use some magic to connect them. Don't forget about the power! Hooray! Let's hurry up and test it already! We'll connect the heart of our robot just like this. So, Sammy, are you ready? Always ready! <laughs> Here we go! It's working! Let's cover our controller. We'll add the label to our robot. Now we'll test the button. Mr. Robot. And now comes the best trick, the turnaround. Yay! Hi guys! Today, we'll tell you about hydraulics and assemble a robotic arm that will work with the help of water. Wait! I brought you something! What? Batteries? What for? I've heard that we're making a robot arm today. You can't do without batteries and electricity! Thanks, Sammy, but we won't need batteries. Like I said, water has its own power, and if we use it correctly, the robot arm will work without electricity. <laughs> we'll see how your robot's going to work without my batteries. That's very bold of you. Guys, we're really going to do without batteries. Our arm is going to work only on water, and hydraulics is going to help us with that. If you've already heard about it, give a thumbs up, and I'll explain how it works. Hydraulics studies the power of water. People have been using it since ancient times, before they invented electricity. If you use this science correctly, even one syringe of water can do many things. We're going to need syringes cardboard, a glue gun, four glasses of colored water, a pencil and a ruler, pliers, cutters, infusion tubes, a drill, clamps from a hardware store, and… You're a real warrior, Sammy. Thanks for bringing the skewers. You're welcome, Susie. I'm not only a warrior, but also a great expert on robot building, even hydraulic ones. How's it coming? Okay, guys. The tools are on the table. The expert's also here. Let's get started. First, we need to cut out cardboard pieces. This is the base of our hydraulic arm. First, we'll draw the lines to cut along them. Let me note, as an expert, that first you need to draw not only lines to cut along, but the whole draft. Yes, but we won't waste time on that. This robot arm isn't so difficult. Let's cut the pieces neatly along the lines. Guys, be very careful with the cutter. You'd better ask an adult to help. <gasps> this looks great! It's time to use the drill. We need to make holes like these. Beautiful sounds. Music to my ears. Real music indeed. A bit of magic… <gasps> Guys, we need pieces like the ones you see now on the table. What table? This is the construction site of the new, unique, amazing hydraulic robot arm number one in the galaxy. Oh, great name, Mr. Expert. Now please move aside. Fine, but keep in mind that you're under strict supervision of a hydraulic robot expert. I will, Sammy. And we'll continue. We need to insert the skewers in a certain way connecting pairs of cardboard pieces, like this. We'll cut one skewer. <gasps> oh, 
that clipper is so sharp, be careful and secure it with glue. There. And we'll attach two shorter pieces on the other end. The process is similar. Then, I'll secure them with small squares to help the structure move. Hmm. Yep, something like that. Look, guys, there should be space for syringes between the pieces. Now, let's assemble the base for our arm. These will be the supports. We'll attach them on both sides and secure them with cardboard squares. There it goes. Ta-da! We'll need hot glue to attach the base. Guys, be very careful with the glue gun. And here comes the base. A gun? Nonsense. A spear. That's what real heroes choose. Oh, you're a weapon expert too. Guys, look what we made. Our future arm should move like this. Sturdy and elegant. Now, we need to make holes in syringes. Like this. Ask an adult to help you with this step. We'll need the clamps now. What's that, Susie? That's a clamp, Sammy. They can be found in a hardware store. It's a very useful thing for building hydraulic robot arms. We need to secure the clamps on the syringe. Like this. And tighter. And we'll insert a skewer into the second loop to adjust it. Let's remove the skewer for now and cut off the excess. Remember, guys, don't cut yourselves. All right, guys, time to attach the syringe to our structure. Carefully insert the skewer through the walls and the opening in the syringe. Do the same with the second skewer and the clamp loop. Attach the second syringe in the same way. Voila! Moving on. We'll need these cardboard pieces for the arm itself. Pause the video to write down the measurements. First, we'll bend metal rods with the help of pliers to get this kind of hook. Once again, it's a step that requires adult supervision. Be careful. <laughs> Can't do it! You're so strong, Sue. Aw, thanks, Sammy. Let's insert the hook into the last opening. Take it slow here. Now, let's skewer the foot and the square. This looks a bit like a canapé. Click and a drop of glue. There. That's what we should get, guys. Isn't that difficult? What do you say, Sammy? Right. An expert inspection has confirmed it. This part is assembled correctly. Good job, Sue. And this is your payment for the first part of the project. Thanks, Sam. We've got more work ahead of us. Let's not wait and start working on the rest of our robot. I'm watching you. Sammy, now I need your help. As usual. What's the matter? I need a stick from this ice cream. Can you eat it and give the stick to me? Okay, I'll help you, Susie. You can't do without me. Oh, great ice cream. Always happy to help, Sue. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. I can always count on you. We need to bend this cardboard piece with this stick. Like this. And make holes with a skewer. One. And... Two. Now, let's connect them to the grabbing mechanism with skewers. And done! We only need to apply strips of glue onto the fingers of our robot. We need that to make sure the items don't slip off. Now, let's connect both parts of the structure. We need the glue gun again. And we remember to use the glue carefully, right? <laughs> And then we'll connect the pieces. Nice and slow. This is what you should get. Great, now on to the final part. That's not all. Endless construction, endless. I'm so tired. Oh, Sammy, we're almost done. You can rest. Oh, you'll be in charge then. I won't let you down. I'll secure the syringe right here. Great, it fits. We've made openings in the plunger in advance. And now we'll insert the metal rods here. Now we only need to make the base. Wow, our robot arm is coming out so big! To make the structure sturdy, we'll need a sturdy base made of two thick cardboard pieces. Let's apply some glue onto one of them. A thin strip along the surface should be enough. And press the other piece well. Done! Easy peasy. Now we need to secure the arm on the stand. Huh, how should I do it? Something's missing. Hmm, maybe this? Or this? 
Uh, wait, that's what I need. Batteries. What? What? Batteries? You said we didn't need them. Sam, well, you're the expert here and you were right. We need the batteries, but we won't use them the usual way. Not the usual way? Then how? Oh, I see. <laughs> that's very clever, Sue. <laughs> yes, Sammy. We needed the batteries, but not for the motor. We'll use water as the motor. The more you talk about it, the weirder it sounds. Guys, I made this piece. It will move our base around. Let's set it here. Let's assemble the robot control panel. We need to connect the piece made of two sticks with the syringe using a skewer, like this. Let's attach four of these on the panel. One by one. We'll secure the tip of the syringe with a metal art. This is what we should get. And now I'll show you how it works. Sam, give me a glass of water, please. I'm the boss here, actually. Oh, I remember, boss. Let's get some water into the syringe. And connect a tube to it. It's very delicate work. Now, let's move the water to the other end of the tube and connect it to the other syringe. There. That's the magic of water, guys. <laughs> Now, let's connect the control panel and the arm the same way. We'll attach each colored tube to the syringes on the arm. Why all these colors, you may ask? <laughs> That's simple. Each syringe moves a certain part of the robot arm. And the colors make it easier to remember which syringe controls which part. <laughs> See? Oh! Look! Sammy! The motor of our robot is a hydraulic press! Water makes it move! Oh! So cool! Ah! <sighs> Wow! <laughs> wow, Susie! I can't believe my eyes! And no batteries needed! Please, now lift the bottle! Let's try it, Sam! Yes, Susie! Push the syringes! Let's lift this bottle finally! Our colorful <laughs> control levers move perfectly! Move to the right! Left! Come on! Is it really happening? We can use this robot when we run out of all the batteries in the house. I doubt it, Sue. I always have a stash. Guys, now that we know that robots can not only be electric, give a thumbs up if you want more robots in our videos. Send us photos of your robots. Bye-bye! You know, Sue, now we need to assemble a robot that'll work on fire! 